Orange is awfully slow. So is the 5 in the north coast. They've got lots of traffic down from Point City Lane to Birmingham Drive. Delays at the airport and everything to the east coast has been canceled. It means about seven flights between now and noon. A no-go out of Lindbergh. Everything else is just fine with the storm. Cal Walker traffic. Next update coming up in five minutes. Kogo News Time 801. A 12-year-old boy in Salinas says he killed his dog because he wanted to see the terrier mix die. Police found the 12-pound dog hanging by its collar on a bedroom door handle. The boy told officers he was angry with the dog. People in the boy's apartment initially refused to open the door when police arrived, so officers obtained a passkey. Now the boy's been arrested on felony animal cruelty charges. Animal cruelty has been listed as an early detector of psychopathic activity in serial killers. Closer to home, homicide detectives investigating a shooting in Hillcrest. It left a man fighting for his life this morning. Happened around 2.30 on Upas Street. The man's identity is unknown at this hour. Police estimate he's in his mid-20s. The shooter fled before police arrived. The average price of a gallon of gas in San Diego County fell for the 21st consecutive day. Gas is down to four dollars. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm a target of what is known as organized stalking and gang stalking. And we're going to see how long it takes. I'm at a new hiking area. I've been here now two nights. <coughs> this is my second morning. And we're going to see what kind of excuse the San Diego police use to come to this hiking area. Yeah, who they use, no matter why they're approaching me, whoever they use and the excuse they use, including that they get an anonymous call or a neighbor called or somebody saw me as they were riding their bike or walking by or as they were driving by, they'll use any excuse to make it appear they have a legitimate appearing reason to come to me at this new hiking area. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm a target of what is known as organized gang stalking, and the San Diego police are directly involved in it. Now, uh, looking at comments to this YouTube video for cooperating material in reference to what's happening towards me in San Diego, I do not do anything illegal whatsoever in any way, shape, or form, and, uh, and I'm exposing them all over the internet. So what they're going to do is try to make it appear that them approaching me at this hiking area is being done through legitimate means, like someone called. They'll even say an anonymous call. They'll use anybody in the community. Okay, Go to YouTube and type in listen to a stranger, and that, that gives you a small illustration about how organized gang, gang stalking expeditions will solicit anybody in the community based on a lie to do something for them. Also, Google organized gang stalking. Now, uh, my cell phone was stolen from me last week over at uh, uh, Hazard Center Ultra Star Movie Theater. And uh, so I have a hard time proving exactly what today's date is. But you can go to Coco, Chip Franklin Radio Show, and listen to what's being broadcast at this time. Giants win the World Series. That story and San Diego's updated traffic and weather. Next. You know, if you need new windows and doors, you can go to a lot of places, like I did. It's about 8.04 a.m. right now. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm going to do a show this morning at about 8.06 on human trafficking. Now, I'm in San Diego, California. Again, I do not, I do nothing illegal whatsoever, and I'm, I'm subject to organized gang stalking sensitization tactics along all of my routes. And I'm just going to put it to you this way, uh, for legal purposes. Do targets of organized gang stalking experience electronic harassment, remote neural monitoring, and remote behavioral influencing technology? Go to Freedom From Covert Harassment and Surveillance. Look at the bottom of their homepage. I'm in San Diego, California. Extensively YouTube and, and Google gang stalking or organized stalking. Go to YouTube and type in gang stalking, bullying, on steroids. You'll see that it was covered by the Santa Cruz police just in March of 2011. And uh, I already know I have undisputable proof this crime is happening towards me. You can go to YouTube and type in Learning Disabled Woman Catches Gang Stalker Admitting Put on Bus to Harass. And what they admitted to the three teenagers was described in a video two months prior. And that video is in the comments feature of the Learning Disabled Woman Catches Gang Stalker Admitting Put on Bus to Harass. I gave this evidence to the San Diego police and they laughed at it. The reason why they left that is because they're directly involved in it, which I have undisputable physical tangible proof concerning that as well. I'm in San Diego, California. Let's see how long it takes for them to come to this hiking area. And I don't care what excuse is used for them to do it. And also we're going to see how long it takes before they steal my property. My sleeping bag and everything is put in a separate bag that's taken to a second location in this wooded area for when I leave throughout the day. You know, for when I'm gone, you know, during the day. That way, in case they come down here and steal the tent, the brown tarp that's on top of the tent, 
uh, they won't be able to get, steal all of it. In other words, if they steal all of it, they, they'd have to go looking for it. I'm in San Diego, California. I do not do drugs. I do not drink. I do not sleep around. I do not steal. And I am not involved in any illegal activity whatsoever. And I am not mentally ill. Which is labels that uh, uh, the perpetrators of these crimes try to put on targets. It's organized crime in the system. Go to Google and type in a gang stalking tech. Everything you need to know. It's a manifesto of a manager of organized stalking crews. I gotta go. Today's date is October 29th, 2012. Some of the secret to losing weight after 40 is called Amber.